religion. Somebody that said a particular spirituality who said if you find out that someone has a particular destiny and that person cannot use that destiny for himself, you should try as much as you can to collect that destiny from that person and use it for him. I made the video, so the same spiritualist. I come across one of his videos. It was actually one of my fans that saw say, uh, saw the video, so he shared the link with me on WhatsApp. So I tried to like he said, please, sir, see, can you listen to this? Let me know. Is this true? So I listened to the video. I watched the video. And this same spiritualist was let this for me. I told you earlier that there are some spiritualists that will do so for you. At the return, they will visit that soul to collect something from you. So as long as you are doing those things, it will be destroy whatever they have done to you and in return they will be telling you you should not do something don't listen to such spirituality for restoration salt can be used for fortification can you hear me who can you sort for restoration who can you sort for fortification you must about salt like i have hundreds to thousands of salt uses in different ways even combined with different things to give you your desired result so shoot to I was born with the gifts of sin. That is why people call me the seer. I will tell you everything you need to know about yourself, both the problem and the solution. Can it be used for restoration? For restoration. Salt can be used for fortification. Can you hear me? Who can you sort for restoration? Who can you sort for fortification? And we can also use salt for cleansing. So those are the three major things we use salt for. For restoration, for fortification, and for cleansing. Okay, I come across a channel. There was, if you guys remember Baba Dre, there was a time I made a video on somebody that said, a particular spirituality who said, if you find out that someone has a particular destiny and that person cannot use that destiny for himself, you should try as much as you can to collect that destiny from that person and use it for him. I made the video. So the same spiritualist, I come across one of his videos. It was actually one of my fans that saw, say, uh, saw the video. So he shared the link with me on WhatsApp. So I tried to like, he said, please, sir, see, can you listen to this? Let me know. Is this true? So I listened to the video. I watched the video. And this same spiritualist was saying that it is not good to use salt for prayers. Like, it is not good for it <laughs> to use salt for prayers that uh, salt is a master on his own. Like, if you use it, if you, if you use it to do uh, maybe like maybe to set something for someone like back to sender or to send a message to somebody and definitely the salt will come back and harm you i listen to all everything you will say like you should not use salt for evil uh, you, should, is, you should not use salt for anything that before you use salt you should contact him he will tell you what to do then at the end of the video it shows where he was advertising his uh, that's it was advertising sea salt if you want to buy sea salt from him now let me tell you something you see salt, right? Salt is one of the elements that has nothing to do with evil. Okay? Salt is one element that is an element of justice. But from what he was saying, right? He said that uh, from why I, it might be right in his own perspective, but in my own perspective, why I said it's wrong that we should not use salt. And if you use salt, salt will come back and harm you. This is it. There's no element on earth, right? That has the power to decide on its own. Evil agent, you see the agent God has created, they cannot decide to do something on their own without the permission of God. Agent do something on their own. Agent cannot do anything on their own without God permitting them to do that thing. They must get permission from God. Even the gene, we have two major beings that are meant to live on earth, which is the human being and the gene, right? You see the gene, right? God has given them supernatural power. Okay, God has given them supernatural power, but they don't have that brain to think. That's why you see one malam, you see one spiritualist controlling thousands of genes because they don't have that brain to think for themselves. But they have the supernatural power. But it's only human being on earth that has that brain to, to differentiate this from this. Okay, this is it. Think and apply what you actually think. So, saying that thought, if you should use thought to do prayer, you should not use thought to do prayer that is going to come back to harm you. That is totally bullshit from my own knowledge. See, you see one thing about salt, right? Salt gives justice at instance. See, what you, uh, there's no element on earth that will go out of his way to do what you've not asked it to do. Even with this ring, it's a powerful ring, right? By the time the person is making it, they do not make prayers on it. The ring might not work because you have not declared to it what you want the ring to do for you. So, salt is one element that 
you can use to remove any negative energy from you. So to so summarize everything, me I will advise you because the my fan was asking me if you should use salt to prayer. Yes, you can use salt for prayer. I'm going to teach you five or even more powerful ways you can use salt if as the spirit uh, as the spirit leads. Number one. I'm going to talk about is salt for cleansing, which is very more common. I will save the best for later, which is very more common. Salt for cleansing. Yeah, it's quite alright. Most of the cleansing work we do that has to do with uh, removing energy, removing bad energy, removing the evil eye, cause breaker. Most of them will have salt in it because salt is one element that fights against evil very much. Well, I'm telling you. So if you are the type of person. Most time you notice that when you wake up the next day in the morning, you try to go go to work and you feel very much weak. Try as much as you can to just put half full of salt in your bathing water. What's a white bit with salt? This will remove any negative energy the enemy are, 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 the enemy are projected towards you. As long as you keep batting with salt regularly, even at least once in a week. So whatever the enemy are thinking towards you, whatever the enemy are doing towards you, that will reduce it to the that will reduce it to the minimum. Beating with salt, heart full of salt. Another way to use salt is that if you are the kind of person that they normally come and attack you in your dream, like you are sleeping, they will come and press you. They will press you. Get salt. Get local egg. Get palm oil. Put salt inside your beating water. Uh, put that salt inside your beating water. Add palm oil. Some drop of palm oil to your beating water. Break egg at the shell inside your beating water. Bath, bath with that water. Before you know. Within two to three days, those people will not be able to come and attack you again. Another thing to make salt to work perfectly for you is that if you are the kind of person that you are experiencing quarrel in your house, maybe you normally experience quarrel in your house, like uh, you are your wife normally have issues, you are your spouse normally have issues, get salt. If it's the enemy that is doing it, get salt, okay? Pray on that salt. Put it in the entrance of your house or put it in the middle of your house. After like... After like three to seven hours, remove that salt, go out to it. That's if you put it in the middle of your house, right? Put it in your parlor. That salt will absorb all the negative energy in that house that is causing that quarry. Go out through that salt. So, if you are the kind of person that maybe, as I've said earlier, you have an issue with your grades, okay? What you need to do, three days or several days to the day you are going to start the exam, get salt, put it on your hand, pray on it. After praying on it, add water to it, to wash your hand. As if you're using the uh, detergent to wash your hand when you are about to sleep in the night, when you know that you are not going to do anything with your uh, anything with uh, anything uh, with water again. By the time you do this, you are going to do this for th like a day to uh, like several days to your exam. You do it for three days, or if there's still much time, you can do it several days to your exam. You can do it for three days so that you do it three days straight. Then you now wait then before your exam. This will help to remove anything that will make anybody not to give you your mark you deserve i still have more to teach you about salt do you want me to tell you more about salt like i, I have hundreds to thousands of salt uses in different ways even combined with different things to give you your desired result so show to anybody that will say you should not use salt for cleansing that is because such people that have the same different thing once you are using that salt for cleansing or use salt for do for particular work it is where those things that have, they have done that they are using to collect things from you i told you earlier that there are some spiritualists that will do so for you at the return they will be using that salt to collect something from you so as long as you are doing those cleansing it will be destroying whatever they have done to you and in return they will be telling you you should not do so cleansing don't listen to such spiritualists okay See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You see, I always kiss.